Well, today we have a huge shout out to Millennium Rares. Thank you, Main Man Millie and Hot Hands Harps for sending me this beautiful Crossroads of Chaos Special Edition. It was released July 19th, 2008. And uh, if we pull a Ghost Rare or an Ultimate Rare out of this lonely little Special Edition, holy shit. Well, presiding over today's opening, we have the Rare Hunters Club. Uh, signed sleeve that they sent me on my very first uh, purchase from Millennium Rares channel. Uh, it actually came with a common uh, Dark Magician girl and uh, that wound up going to uh, one of my clients actually. He was looking for a Dark Magician girl and um, well I replaced DMG with this beautiful Exodia the Forbidden One head. It is the DDS Dark Duel Stories a promo card and I figured if I'm gonna have a rare hunter sleeve I need to put one of the rarest cards in Yu-Gi-Oh in there so Millie harps trust me there is a beautiful rare card in this rare hunter sleeve um, and on top of that like I said uh, the beautiful boys from Millennium Rares have sent us this Crossroads of Chaos uh, special edition that we will be opening today and, because I didn't want it to be a super short opening, we had a poll on my YouTube. And, if you can tell who won, uh, we have a box of Duelist Nexus to open up alongside this beautiful Crossroads of Chaos. Uh, got it at the NAWCQ. Uh, most boxes are running for about 40 plus and I found a couple that were a pretty good price so I snagged one of these and uh, well hopefully there's something good also in the same week of rare hunting with Millennium Rares they also pulled me this beautiful uh, prismatic collector rare uh, abyss dweller we have a beautiful ultimate a prismatic peaceful planet calarium another beautiful prismatic ultimate rare exosisters magnifica a gorgeous and shiny Itelli. that beautiful 25th logo there in the bottom and hot hands harps the man himself the boy with the ghosty fingers has now pulled me two gorgeous and very immaculate cyber dragons thank you harps this video goes out to you and because these men are such amazing people uh, they had actually opened up a Pharaoh Servant 25th uh, edition on their stream for me. I should have had them, you know what? I should have had them hold the box and send it. So I could have opened up this alongside the uh, special edition. But I couldn't help it. I'm a degenerate. The entire channel of, of Millennium Rares is degenerates just like me. And well, I had them open the box on stream. But these are the cards we got. We got a Magical Hats, which I would love to actually stick in an Illusion deck with all of the new Silo Hat stuff. Uh, just for shits and giggles. Wouldn't that be hilarious? A beautiful Dust Tornado. A Fairy Meteor Crush. And finding out that Goat Format is basically these old format cards, I kind of want to build a Goat deck because I had some fun ones back in the day. Before y'all even knew what Goat was. We got Mirror Wall. A Goblin Attack Force for one of the Ultras. One of my personal favorite cards in the entirety of Yukio's uh, compendium, Call of the Haunted. It just speaks so much goodness to my goth heart. And the secret rare was Imperial Order. Uh, this brought back some beautiful memories for me um, competing way back in the day. I had a first edition of this card. Uh, this card helped me win quite a handful of duels when it first came out because, of course, new, nobody understood how to how to work with this card, but it was a lot of fun. And then they also pulled me a beautiful collector, Solemn Strike. 
a Platinum Secret Crossout Designator, a Platinum Secret XYZ Encore, a beautiful Platinum Secret, uh, Platinum Secret Droll and Lockbird Alternate Art, a gorgeous UCR Peaceful Planet Calarium. Uh, I believe this Mulcharmy was pulled in a different stream. And then in Dark Beast of Dark, he also had a Crossed Souls opening that I bought into a couple of packs. Pulled this Void Vanishment, which is hilarious because it is now reprinted seven different times with an alternate, I believe an alternate art, art uh, version in our most recent set of rarity. And then uh, along with those packs, I was put into a raffle and I walked away with this beautiful Gem Mint 10 Thynan Great Sphinx uh, from Exclusive Pack. So this is apparently what is considered a perfect card. It has a Gem Mint 10, no scratches, no, no Mars, all the edges are good, the corners are good, the surface is good, the centering's good. Um, that will also go into my now slowly growing um, stack of, of um, graded cards. Oh, and now, let's see. Alright boys, make y'all wait. We're going to open up Duelist Nexus first and see we get anything good once again Millie and uh, Harps thank you guys so much for sending me this uh, not in my wildest dreams would I have expected uh, getting collaborations or sponsorships within well within my first year of, of streaming on YouTube it is very much appreciated you guys have an amazing channel if you guys uh, if anybody watching this does go on whatnot and you do have a Yu-Gi-Oh addiction they said they also have magic and access to many many other TCGs so check out the boys on whatnot Millennium Rares um, they have amazing energy they're really fun guys insanely generous and you know there's a reason why I love hanging out in their channel they're fun to talk with uh, the rest of the people who patronize their channel are also very fun and, uh, you know, uh, I understand why they're one of the fastest growing channels on whatnot. And we're going to start with Duelist Nexus first. Uh, do I think Duelist Nexus is an undervalued set? Yes. Uh, do I also wish that some of the archetypes that were in this set were a little bit better? Also, yes. Uh, we have Signs of the Testina, Pearly Shirley, Gaia Blaze, Behemoth, the King of a Hundred Battles, Thestalos, the Shadowfire Monarch, Small Scuffle, Uwe Belt the Blade Dragon, Veda Kalanta, and Altergeist Revitalization. Yeah, I think uh, I think the set got pooped on a little bit more than it was necessary. They have some fun cards, if I remember correctly. Being a branded player, there being some branded cards in here, so I mean, of course I was drawn to it. Uh, but we got Valence Wave, Unchained Soul of Shavara, Wheel Synchron, Evil Tile Folus, Magnum, the Reliever. Gotta relieve the Magnum. And one thing I got to say about Harps and Millie's channel is I love it. It's a channel for anybody. They keep it nice and clean. Some of the channels that I'll be watching, you know, will have some very interesting music in the background. And far be it for me to say anything because I listen to some very prolific and profane music. But, you know, if you have, if you're, if you're in a children's game, yes, granted, most of us are in our 20s and 30s. or 40s now. <coughs> oh, well, man. It's still nice to know that if there were children in the stream, that it's nice and clean. I try and do the same here uh, because I do want these videos to reach as big of an audience as possible. Um, but I do have a bit of a mouth on me sometimes. Uh, we got Ashtartu, 
Beta Evolution Pill Ultra Trans Ultra Transcendence. Hey, oh right, and the chim uh, Chimera stuff. I really do kind of, I really do like the uh, the Chimera artwork in this. The archetype looks like a lot of fun. Illusions can't be destroyed by battle, which is also really nifty. Um, and then you have like this food archetype, like Nimlaria. Uh, almost nightmare fuel. But I'm, maybe I'm getting hungry right now because it actually looks pretty tasty. I can't believe that Duelist Nexus won the poll out of out of over Infinite Forbidden and Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge. Y'all got really high hopes for this set. <laughs> uh, Agnel Candle, New World Formation, Grinosaurus Giga Cannon, Jurassic Power, and you're finished. No, we're not. We are not finished. We just got this box started, and. Uh, yeah we still have a ways to go I just need to find out if I am allowed to keep what is in this special edition uh, Harps made it fairly clear that they send it to me and it's for me but I mean if I pull an $800 ghost rare I am pretty sure they're going to want that back but if they don't wow that would be insane. Uh, million Century Ice Prison, right? Because then I would be asking myself, like, well, how long have they been holding on to this this, uh, this product? Like, how long have they been sitting on it? And this, this beautiful, rare, and valuable card has just been chilling in their inventory. Uh, Behemoth, the King of 100 Battles. And Duelist Genesis. Almost the namesake of the box. But yeah, it's it's really funny. Like everybody has all these superstitions about pull rates and rarities and look for this and look for that or or like Harps the other day definitely made me laugh when he was like the pack's discolored, there's gotta be a ghost rare in there. It's just like no. All of these things are predetermined the day that the card is created and put it in those packs. Uh, the only thing that is going to make sure you get a card is whether or not you buy the pack but call it fate or whatever but the chances that you're going to pull something rare was decided a long time ago uh, super heavy samurai security all the s's evil tile folus agnol candle rescue ace preventer and the first ultra rare is going to be ultra geist adminia not bad ultra geist stuff looks fun but i'll probably never ever play it So we should get four ultras and two secrets, I believe. Let's see if we can get a QCR. Now we got signs of the Testina. Daidara Bucky. Unchained Soul of Shavara. Cornfield Quaddle. And Thelematech Cletus. Cletus! God damn it, Cletus! all your fault, Cletus. Alright, we got Magic Key Deity Ashtartu. Double-headed King uh, Dino King Rex. Million Century Millie in Century's uh, Ice Prison. Venice Terre Tower of the Necro World. And one of Trix's favorite cards, Banishing Trap Hole. You know, for as pretty as the Tistina cards are, it's a shame that they didn't do better. Uh, I believe the Tistina cards were a TCG exclusive, um, but like most TCG exclusives, they're just really not, not all that. Cornfield Quaddle, Gaia Blaze, Evelsar Laios, Behemoth King of 100 Battles, and Mighty Dino King Rex. anybody looking forward to the new tins coming out the reprints that we already know that are going to be in there 
uh, I am. I'm going to buy a case. Uh, the last case I bought, I, I wasn't, I didn't have the YouTube started, so I didn't get to uh, record that one. But the next case, full case video, will be a lot of fun. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Security. Daidara Bucky. Split Mirror of the Underworld. Grinosaurus Giga Cannon. Ooh. Okay. Well, our first secret is going to be Visus Amaritara. Amritara. It's so pretty. Like the the whole Visus archetype is also another very 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 beautifully drawn artwork. Hmm. All right, million century ice prison. Jurassic power. Cornfield Quaddle, Double Headed Dino King Rex, and Mirror Sword Knight. One of the few supers out of this set that actually held some value. Should be a dollar or two if I remember correctly. At least the last time I saw it. Do we get one more Ultra? Alright, we got Makanko Spirit Walk, Evil Sarlaos, Finis Terre, Synchro World, and speaking of the Tistina and their beautiful artwork, our second out of the four is Demigod of the Tistina. And man, they said it's so pretty. They just don't do a whole lot. Who doesn't love the jars? We got Pearly Shirley, Gaia Blaze the Force of the Sun, Cornfield Quaddle, New World Formation, and Ursarctic Polar Star, which is also a very cute little teddy bear looking archetype. Just look at him. Just look at him. Evil Sword Laos, Jurassic Power, Split Mirror of the Underworld, Valence Wave, and Mall Wisp. Has any of you, uh, have any of you seen the Deadpool and Wolverine movie yet? Uh, my lovely partner Sammy and I went to go see it yesterday at Flix Brew House. It was nothing but insanity and hilarity and we absolutely loved it uh, i can't wait to go see it in a big group of my friends uh, hopefully there's not going to be too many people in the theater with us <laughs> uh grinosaurus giga cannon signs of the testina wheel synchron new world formation and a beautiful chimera fusion okay wouldn't mind more of the chimera stuff uh, between the two that came out uh, the illusion chimera beast and uh and the testina archetype i definitely definitely prefer the uh chimera stuff uh unchained soul of shivara jurassic power polis synchro world and speaking of Gazelle, the King of Mythical Claws. These were, this is, I believe, when they were really starting to do, uh, le really lean into the um, revitalizing of old archetypes. Um, I think they did a pretty damn good job with the Chimera and Illusion Beast stuff. But I will forever be a, a filthy branded lover. Come at me. All right, Rescue Ace Preventer, Split Mirror, Spirit Walk, Shirley, and Fusion Armament for our third. Oh no, there we go. For our third, Ultra Rare. 
Man. Just a little bit of artwork appreciation there. So if you voted for um, the Box of Duelist Nexus, I'm actually kind of curious. Who was it? A beta evolution pill? And if you did vote for the box, hopefully you're watching right now because this is, this is on you. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Security. Agnimal Candle, Daidara Boki, and Synchro Forceback. Alright, Wheel Synchron, Mechanko Spirit Walk, Laos, Synchro World, and Magician of Faithfulness. Which was a retrain of the Magician of Faith. A flip effect and everything. But see, now that we have Mimigul's and Soul and Luna, maybe, maybe she might actually well, have some value finally. See, and now that I see like the Mimigul archetype being a uh, flip summon and bringing that back into stuff. Now I'm looking at cards that I'm pulling and I'm like, oh look, flip summon. Alright, Shirley. King Rex. Signs of the Testina. Diodara. See, and look. Look how pretty this is. That is just beautiful artwork. But it don't do shit. All right, Grinosaurus Giga Cannon, Makonko Spirit Walk, Ashtar 2, Pervara, and an Evil Czar Lars for our second Secret Rare. Okay, all right. All right, we got a QCR left in these. All right, Synchro World, All Transcendence, Dino King Rex, Ice Prison, and Ursatron Alpha. For you mech lovers. Oh, and I should have one more ghost. Uh, actually, a ritual ghost on the way from last night's stream. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. It's so pretty. Uh, Samurai Security. 100 Battles. Agnimal Candle. Cute. Polis. And Emperor Charles the Great for our fourth and final Ultra. All right. QCR pack. Finis Ture, Tower of the Necro World. Balance Wave. Wheel Synchron. Rescue Ace Preventer. And Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon. I believe another one of the better supers out of the set. No QCR. What? Nice. Okay. All right, rare hunters. If y'all are from Millie's channel on whatnot with harps, welcome. I'm sure this is the part y'all have been waiting for. And uh, with Exodia DDS presiding over this opening, hopefully, we'll get us a beautiful ghost rare, and hopefully, also an ultimate rare. Both is good. Let's see, let's look at some numbers real quick. 
we have yeah okay so the market value on tcg player right now is about 92 dollars quickly quickly going up to 140 um there's only like one or two at like 92 dollars and then it goes up to like 115 and then 140 dollars for three packs and a promo card now reasonably so there's an $800 ghost rare in here. Unlimited. If I remember right. Doing my research. Okay. Sorry. I had to just do a little bit of rearranging. Uh, let's see, the Ghost Rare is Near Mint Unlimited is about $850. The Ultimate Rare, Black Rose Dragon, Near Mint Unlimited is about $125. And many other ultis, and even the Silver Letter Rare Iron Chain Dragon is $6 for a Silver Letter Rare. Uh, so there's definitely value in here. Um, wow, it almost feels criminal to open this. 2008. What was I doing in 2008? So I graduated in 02. Six years. 23. Wow. Yeah, we're not going to talk about my 23s. At my, my 23rd year of being alive on this planet. On this channel. I would not like to... Uh, get, a, get, get strikes for demonetization before I'm even monetized. But wow, that even opened up really nice. Man, might have to keep that box too. 2008, guys. 2008 was the last time this product was released. Let's see what the promo is. Okay. We have the Harvest Angel of Wisdom. And man, you can even tell the foiling back then was so different. All right, we got three chances. Three wonderful, beautiful chances to pull this Black Rose. Oh, okay. So this is back when uh, Upper Deck was printing this stuff. Ah. Wow. Just the way that bad boy just opens up. I feel like I should be like reverent. Uh, but we got Iron Chain Coil. I'm going to have to look at every single one of these cards. Uh, Machine Tuner, 1100, level 3 Earth. One Iron Chain Monster you control, gain attack. Okay. We have Teleport. Also, these are cards I've never opened. I've never, I was never around for this, so this is all new to me. Uh, we got Teleport. Okay. Special pay 800 to special summon me. Incro strike. Okay. Nettles. Now, if you live in the south or anywhere that's kind of dry and arid, um, if you've ever stepped on some bull nettle, welcome to the house of pain. But this is a level two plant tuner. Okay. And for our rare, we have a virus cannon. Comrade Swordsman of Landstar. Joey would love that. Doppelganger. Hmm. Gigantic Cephalotus. And Iron Chain Snake. Hmm. Okay. I can't thank you guys, Millennium Rares, for sending me something like this. Y'all are amazing. Yeah, like, I don't even want to throw these behind me, like, unceremoniously. Like, I would feel bad. 
Uh, all right. Morphtronic Datatron. Okay, hold on. We got a level three pyro. Uh, while on attack position, once per turn, you contribute one monster and inflict 600. Okay, burn. Oh, while in defense position, once per turn, you can inflict 300 damage to your opponent. Interesting for a burn deck. Oh, hey, when did Gozen Match come out? Was this like one of the very first printings for Gozen Match? I mean, obviously not because this is unlimited, but I wonder how much this is. Just a, a, a common goes and match. A Morphtronic Cord. Botanical Girl. And once again, man, look at this old school art too. Mosaic and Decor. Okay, for the silver letter rare. Oh, okay. And wow. Look at that foiler. I may. You got a level 3 thunder effect. Destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Add one level 2 or lower light monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, alright. So we at least have one foil. It's definitely pushed down into the right for the centering. But hey, at a special editions like these, you get a foil, you get a foil, and we're just happy about it. Uh, Morphtronic Monotron. Psychic Jumper. And my boy Jinzo. Factory of 100 Machines. What are they doing to him? We play all Morphtronic Monsters. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, no foil, foil. Can we get a high rarity card out of this last pack? Oh boy. As I throw the last one. <laughs> hey, hey, it is what it is, man. All right, we got Morph Transition. Morphtronic Cameraman. Another Morphtronic Cord. Morph Transition. You know what? I bet you one of my clients can use these Morph cards because I gave him a whole bunch of Morphtronic stuff. That Like, a, what is it? Morphtronic Earphone, I think he was using. Maybe I'll... Uh, if, if you're watching this, if you're watching this, let me know if you want any of these. Turbo Synchron for the Silver Letter Rare. And... Oh, okay. It is not a secret, it is not an ulti, it is not a ghost, but we definitely got an ultra rare. Rose, Warrior of Revenge. Okay, level four fire tuning. Huh. Boy, burn was really big, a big thing back then, huh? Okay. Wow. So we at least got, well, you know what? We're going to finish this. We got Gadget Driver. Confusion Chaff and Fragrant Storm. Okay, so we might not have gotten a Ghost or an Ulti, but we definitely, without any guarantee, pulled two foils, which I am utterly surprised and very, very happy about. I have no idea the value of these cards, but just getting a chance to pull these was amazing. You know, Exodia, you didn't do too bad today. There could have been nothing. Oh, to be in the Rare Hunters Club. You know, I really enjoy hanging out with these guys. They're tons of fun. They have a great time. They really, really, really treat their community something special. Um, once again, thank you guys. I had a fun time. And, uh... Can't wait to do this again. <laughs>